Hey everyone, what's up? Chip here. Let's talk today about creating some interesting rib details. Things like space frames, extrusions, die cast parts, these are all embellished with rib detailing, like some of the images that you're seeing here. Let's talk a little bit about how we can create those. And then a bit later, we can talk about how we can turn them into kit ops inserts as well. So let's get started. First, I'm gonna just start into this brand new scene. I'm gonna select everything, X to delete it, go over here and X to delete everything in the outliner. So I've got absolutely nothing here to look at. And then I'll say Shift A and I'll go into the mesh and I'll say plane and I'll tap into that and I'll hit the M button and I'm gonna merge everything as center. So now I have one vertice. Now there's other ways of creating a vertex, but this is kind of a common way and maybe a little bit over the top. Now I'm going into top view and I am turning perspective off. And I'll click up here and make sure I'm in vertex select mode and grab my vertex. And now with the E key, I can just tap E and Y and I'm moving it up and I can say E and I move it over to the side and then E and Y and then I can move it up. So right now I'm gonna create the boundary EX of what I think my exterior might wanna look like for this rib detail. And then I can select both of these and hit F and I'll select the face. And then of course, if I want, I control shift tab and I'll see my snap and I wanna to snap to a vertex, which is where it's set. And as I move this around, I'll hold the control key down and it's exactly where I want it. So that looks pretty good. So that's basically going to be the area. I might, I might just take some of these and move them around, get them kind of where I like this overall shape to be, maybe, maybe something like this. So that's kind of the shape of the exterior, the rim, the out, outside rim of this thing. So the next thing we're going to do is with this selected, we'll go and we'll add a modifier. The modifier we're going to add is called the skin modifier. And whoa, look at that. So I'm going to tab into this and I'll make sure that I've turned on this x-ray and I've got this one vertex selected but I'm going to select all of them say A and then I'm going to say Alt A and I can drag in and I'm going to change the width so this is going to be the width of the outside of my frame I might refine that just a little bit more maybe make it a little bit thinner notice it doesn't look particularly great yet so but that's okay now I'm going to go and add another modifier and this is the bevel modifier and I'm going to drag this one to the very top of the modifier list and I'm going to set the segments to be something like maybe eight vertices and so you can start to see that we now have something working for us let me go ahead and hit the shift key now notice that if you end up having something really skinny and and not the same you know you might want to make sure you you adjust this it gets smaller than what it was the other thing that you might want to notice is that in the skin thing you may want to have to mark the root at one of the vertices a, a different vertice to get things to look exactly right so like we have a little bit of a problem right in here that's primarily because we have this offset's just too large so if i just if i just keep moving it down we'll start to get something that actually works a lot better so there we have it now notice up here we're actually crossing over stuff here and that's going to be okay don't worry about that at this point now that we have this done what we want to do is we're going to want to actually put some interior ribs on here and the way i do that is i'll right click on this right click on say subdivide maybe take these and subdivide these and you know i, I don't know you can just subdivide, subdivide any you want and then you can just click on a vertex and say GG and move it around up and down based on where you might want this to be. So let's put it right about there. Let's hold this, these two together. And then I'm just going to hit the F button, which will put a face in between. So that basically created a little rib across there. And I can do the same here and here, face. And what's nice about this is if I don't like it, I can just delete that. I can just basically go in and say X, delete only edges and faces, and it'll get rid of that. And then I may want to say subdivide there. And then my, maybe we just do one more and we do this one right here. Something like that. So now we have basically a interesting rib shape. And the question is, now what do we do about that? As you can see, it doesn't look great at this point. We're going to need to convert this into something that we can actually use. And that's a bit of a challenge. First, I think I'm going to go into this select all and then do the, uh, I think I'm going to move it down just a little bit more. I don't know that something maybe like that. That looks better. I like that. So we'll, we'll start there. Then I can, you know, any one of these, I can control X, delete any of these that I'm not using. I think that's really the only ones that I'm not using right there. So that looks good. 
And then I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna tab out of this and I'm gonna add a modifier. And the modifier I'm gonna add is the remesh modifier. And I'm gonna zoom up on this and I'm gonna leave it at voxel and I'm gonna say 0.01. I'm gonna start there and you can see that's what we have. And I'll go 0.001. And now I'm getting pretty close actually. So I might even go a little bit higher than that. If I look at my wireframe, you'll see how dense that is. So I might go just a little more dense, 0.001. Oh, one. Let's try that. That's going to be 10 times for every one of those. That might take a while. Let's see what happens. There we go. So that's that's really super dense, but we have a very nice typology for this now. It looks really pretty good. Uh, we still have a couple of these little indent things and everything, but we're going to fix that here in a second. So with all this set, I'm going to go ahead and say apply all. Actually, you need to select the object first. <laughs> And then we'll click apply all and I'll select it'll apply the bevel modifier it'll apply the skin modifier and the remesh modifier so now we're gonna wait for this to complete okay that took maybe about 10 seconds something like that so now that's done now we have this huge number of vertices what 12 million tries <laughs> 6 million vertexes 6 million faces 12 million triangles so that's that's quite a bit so next thing I want to do is I am going to go in and I'm going to decimate this mesh so I'll click on that and in here, I'm going to try 0.01 first. I'll just try that. Leave in the collapse mode at 0.01. Okay, now that's finished. It took about 90 seconds, so that was quite quite a long time. Let's take a look at what that wireframe looks like now. Yeah, I think it looks pretty good. What we really want to do is, so we don't want to see these all these little vertices along the edges. That's one of the issues that we didn't want. So I'm going to try this one more time. Okay, so I've been playing around with this, and this is really what I've got come to, which I kind of like. Uh, this 0 .0001 setting, it gets rid of any bevels along the edge, makes things pretty straight across. I might have a little blip right there, but we can figure that out. So once we have this mesh set up the way we want, which is the way it is now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to apply the modifier. So I'll select the object, say apply all. Okay, we're back. We've applied it. So now I just need to go in and isolate just the top surface. So I'll tab into this, go to the front view, Alt-Z, so I'm in the transparent mode. I'll be in vertex mode. I'm just going to grab all of these right here, X, and hit the vertices. Now I've got a few of these that are sticking down. I'm going to look at those and see what, they, where, what they're doing. Looks like they are, they're not needed either. So I'll just come over here, X, vertices and really this is our surface now tab i can go into uh three mode and say a and x and limited dissolve and then i also just just for the heck of it i'll i'll go into the vertex mode and say merge by distance so good the next thing i'll do is let's go to top view and go into vertex mode and i'm going to probably want to modify some of the stuff that's going on here um, and the reason I like this process is it gives me a chance to change some of the sizes of some of these parts, which is always nice so that everything's not exactly equal. Also, in order to do this, I always particularly like to knife things up and, and set them up the way I want to. So if I want to add bevels later on, I can. So let me show you what I'm talking about. First off, on these insides, I'm going to just go merge at center. Some of these insides, just I'll just do that. Okay, and then once I've got that done, what I'll do is I'll cut with the knife. I'll hit the K button, and I'm just going to cut through some of these areas. Hit K, E, snap to here. E, E ends the cut. E, make sure I'm in vertex mode when I'm doing this. Let's see. E, 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 E. e. E, E. So we'll do that. I think we're in pretty good shape. Yeah. Yeah, we're in pretty good shape now. I'm going to look around, make sure that, yeah. So that's good. Hit the return button. And then I'll go into poly mode. And what I want to do is I just want to make sure I get uh, these set nicely, like this one and this one and this one. I'm going to control X and that will actually make that into one polygon face. Like 
so I think we're in pretty good shape. Now, this is going to make it so that when we add a bevel later on, it's just going to work. Make sure that we have deleted any other vertices that don't really need to be there. <laughs> control X, Control X. Now that we're done with this, I can go into tab and I can go ahead and add a solidify modifier and I can move him up or down however I want. In fact, if I'm going to make him a positive, let's tab into this at A and let's go to this item and let's set them all to zero. So we have them all locked down there, tab. And we're going to go into our solidify and I'll move it this way and tab. So we have something going on uh, let's, right here with this, as you can see. So on our solidify, let's make sure our normals are high quality and even thickness. And A, merge uh, by distance, remove one vertice, and that's what that was, got that. So now we're pretty good. Now I'm gonna tab out of this, I'm gonna shade it smooth, I'm gonna auto smooth it, which is the same thing as pressing this button right here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add another bevel onto this object. So we have our solidify, and then I'll add a modifier, and I'm gonna put bevel, and you can see how big the bevel is. And the reason why the bevel works so well is because of the way we divided up all of these areas by putting these cuts right in the middle of them. That's why that bevel is working great. If I had put a cut across the edge here, we wouldn't get a good bevel like that. So I can leave that if I want to as a modifier. The other thing I may want to do, and like we talked about earlier that I think is kind of a cool thing to do is uh, I can tab into this and hit the one button and I can do things like take these and move it down. So I can actually create a little bit more thickness in some areas. Actually, here you go, move this over. Something like this. So I can start to do that. If I want to, I can cut out a little piece. Like I can go into here and use my knife tool and just, you know, go here, 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 and there. Hit return. And then hit the two button to select these two, this vertices. X uh, only edges and faces. X only edges and faces. Now you can see I've cut this out nicely. Got a little notch in there. So I can do things like that with this design, which is one of the things that I pretty much like about this process is I don't have to stay with a consistent thickness all the way through. That's kind of nice. I mean, let's take this one, this one, and this one. And let's hit the G key and let's move these back like so. And we can move him down like this, or we can actually give him an angle. And he can have an angle too, so you get the idea. Okay, so now that we're done, let's make sure that we're giving this to our SY cutter material. And that's what it looks like. You know, it's really simple from here. Let's Pop save. From here, we want to make this into a, something gets added on to an existing model. So I can just uh, use it as a, a Boolean add if I want. And A, let's drop this down just a little bit. There we go, something like that. So it's below that bevel area. Something like that. It's good. Tab, Control A, always all transforms. Oh, notice that we're in this right court quadrant. So we'll basically. Uh, Put the origin to geometry and i always like to use this bounds center a little bit more than the, the previous one and then say a snap selection to cursor and now we can move it down and then control a all transform so i'm going to save this i'll go into kit ops i'll say create insert turn this one into a union let's save the insert I'll put it in my new design magic, which will be the vents and ribs. And this insert is going to be a positive rib. That one, 10, positive rib, 11, save insert. And camera to insert, we hit the zero key. And we will make sure and lock the camera to view so we can see what it looks like. And because this is a cutter union, we're going to basically, it's going to merge it with this material. So if I look at this, you'll see that that's our object. And that's what our thumbnail is going to look like. Render the thumbnail, close the factory scene, and there we are. Now, also, I may want to make this so it's a cutter. And to do that, we'll just very quickly look at it like this. And I'm going to drop it down so it's going to be cutting. I'm going to turn this bevel off for, as a cutter. 
that bell, I'll turn that off. We can always turn it back on if we want to, but right now I'll leave it off. That'll cut that far down into an object. Control A, all transforms again, so that our center now for the object is right there. And now we'll say, create an insert, make a cutter difference, and let's save this insert, uh, minus rib 12. We should name that other one the positive because the negative denotes that we're a cut, we're, we're a difference cutter. Positive is a union cutter. I'll fix that in a sec. But okay, save the insert, camera insert, hit the zero key. Let's move it around a little bit, and we'll render a thumbnail, and we'll close the factory scene. So there we have it. Hopefully, this gives you a perspective and some ideas on how to create your own diecast rib models, and then you can drop them into kit ops for different kinds of things. So, thanks for watching, and we'll see you online. Bye.